Okay, before I forget this, I'm going to make this video real quick. I just made a video talking about melding of the senses. Now, melding of the senses um, means numerous things. When you're melding your senses, you're understanding your senses, you're feeling what you, you know, the senses, you're breaking the senses down, trying to understand why you feel a certain way about a certain thing. So basically, you're pinpointing or discovering your triggers as well when you get in touch with your senses like this. Now, when you're melding your senses, I hope by now we understand and know that you do not only see with your eyes, you see with your heart, you see with your ears, you see with your taste, you see with all your senses. The idea of melding your senses is being able to use each of the six senses, and we have more than that, because I hypothesize that we have nine, but I haven't found receipts of that yet, but I look to find receipts of that. I'm sure they will come. The way my life is working right now, I must be on my direct and right path because things are just unraveling quicker than I can even um, comprehend or compute and integrate them. So basically, you're learning the world in a new way because sometimes things aren't as they appear to be. So visually, people are trying to trip you up and trick you. Right now, I've, I've just gone through or going through or ending a very serious uh, spiritual battle that was taking place in the 5D but it was spilling over into the 3D. So it was happening, it, everything that happens to us happens in the 5D first, and then it spills over into our quote unquote 3D world, or it manifests in certain ways. So in the 5D, I saw the people that I have an issue with or that have issue with me because I really don't have an issue with them. I separated myself after I figured out that we're not vibing on the same frequency. That's very important. You have to be intelligent enough to separate yourself. You try to do it in a uh, peaceful manner, but people on certain frequencies, they don't accept that, nor do they... Uh, no boundaries, nor do they follow them. So sometimes you're going to have to get a little raspy to let them know. This ain't what, this ain't what you want. This ain't the one or the two. Or even the th three or the four. Baby, go ahead and do something else with your life. Because it ain't working out over here. So you have to, so um, going through that. For me, being the hermitess or going into hermitess mode, I find that to be the most healing, the most knowledgeable stance to take. It's like being in a lotus stance if you were doing yoga. I'm just trying to explain what it's like. So when you're in hermit or hermitess mode, you are sitting in the middle of your universe collecting information, if you will. I, uh, I don't advise, but um, I hypothesize that this form of meditation for me is the most bankable. Like I, it's how I do the most healing. It's how I get results. So understand and knowing the cues that happen here in 3D help you with melding your senses and understanding how to work these frequencies and how to wade, if you will, in the dark matter or in the uh, ethers or in the um, universe. Things hit you in waves or you can feel it as though you were floating on water. Or at least that's how I can. You have to teach yourself how to do this. 
And you do it by paying attention and being present in each moment in every way that you can. I hope this is uh, making sense and I hope somebody finds this valuable or somebody finds this relative to their walk because I'm telling you, the waves are different. Just like as if you were a boat in the water, if you were a dinghy in the water, okay? A dinghy being this little tiny rowboat and if you were a big cruise ship in the water, the waves are going to move different. It's the same thing in life. It's the same thing. So if you're living your life, you always get premonitions. If you have certain clairs, you're going to get premonitions. I, I, I don't believe it's just geared towards mediums. Yes, I am a psychic medium, but... It goes so much deeper than that. Even before I fully accepted being who I am, I would get these little uh, dings or pings, if you will. You know, like how computers make all these noises and you can get these uh, reminders or these ding, ding, or certain music to ring in a certain ringtone. The same thing psychically. It's the same thing psychically, only it hits every last one of your senses. But you have to pay attention. You have to be open and you have to be receptive and you have to be in healing mode to understand what these pings and dings mean. So honestly, for me, solitude has been the best thing ever. I promise you, solitude for me has been the best thing ever. And it is, it, 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 I can't express to you how important it is. Say for instance, I'll try to explain it like I explained it to my daughter. I said, you know how when XYZ, okay, say for instance, something happened to your mom, but before something happened to your mother, you got this little ding from the universe. You got this. Sometimes now mine is a little more advanced. I get messages. I get verbal messages in my psyche from the universe saying this X, Y, Z is going to happen. You're going to have to get your mind right. So you're going to have to meditate and release X, X, one, two, three, X, X, Y, Z, A, B, C, whatever. It, it, it tells me specifically what I need to work on. Like maybe a month ago, I was riding in the car and on my way to work. And it was telling me, uh, it was giving me a certain um, scripture because I started off as a church girl. And there's nothing wrong with that because sometimes... It's a faster way for my angels and my guides to break something down for me and to give me a message because of that. And I'm it was giving me a message. I think it was Second Daniels or or Proverbs um, twenty six twenty seven. That might be it. I'm not real sure. I'm trying to I'm trying to look and see. Because it was very finite and it was about forgiveness. And it was I might have it was Proverbs uh and I think it had to do with being like forgiving those not having uh what's the word? I can't find it right now just because I need it. It's like not having animosity or what's that word? Like this, <clears throat> it's not uh, anything. It's not an emotion that you would think would be a large emotion, but it's an emotion that is like having uh, not anger, but some type of remorse or 
like, man, I wish you hadn't have done that to me. Like that kind of feeling. You got to even release that because that's like residual anger or residual hate or residual holding something or judging someone for something that they did to you. Listen, we are all in this thing called life, which is a journey. We are all on our individual journeys. We cannot take it so personal when people hurt or harm or offend us. They could be part of your lesson. And isn't it a beautiful thing when you get the lesson and you get to motivate and level up to the next level? You get to level up. So how can you be angry at that person for being in their life's journey? Pray for them. Wish them well and go on your way. Let them go. Let them stay where you found them or where you left them. And you go on and level up and be the best you you can be. Don't you understand? That's where all these sayings come from, like revenge, uh, like uh, revenge is a dish best served cold. It's not about the revenge. It's about living your life well. It's going to burn, eat, or hurt that person like nobody's business. But let's hope, let's pray that it pushes them into healing because that's what all, we are all here for. We're all here to heal those things within us. And maybe the only way that they got to heal was that they saw someone they really wanted to hurt or they really wanted in their life or they really wanted to use in some way. They saw them avert or avoid their pitfall that they put or their stumbling block that they put in the path of an enlightened one or in the path of a light worker, not even knowing that you were there also for them to have them hit an epiphany that you can't do these things to people. Do you overstand? I'm getting a little too excited, but like I'm really feeling this lesson right now because I felt like, damn, I was the nicest, bestest, brightest being toward you. And you tried to sucker punch me. I did nothing to hurt or harm you. You tried to use or extinguish my light. You tried to drain my light when you could get your own light. You can have your own light, but you got to do the work. There is no shortcut. If you drain me of my energy, then my energy is just drained. Not that the most high would allow that to happen, but do you not understand that universal law dictates that the most high vibrational being must always win? Do you understand? Even when they lose, they win. Do you not understand that? And then the very thing you try to cause for another being that didn't deserve it, didn't earn that thing, that, that, that pay, because everything is like a bank, okay? I didn't earn that wicked pay. That was energy that was sent out into the universe. Energy never dies. So the universe dictates that that energy must and will go back to the sender of that energy. Ten times the strength, baby. So when it curves that corner, bish, it picks up speed and velocity. So then... It, does, is it doesn't become this energy that you sent to that person. It magnifies times 10. I, I need you to understand that. Maybe then some of y'all will stop this foolish bullshit. Okay? Shenanigans, excuse me. I'm way too, I'm way too hype right now. I'm way too hype. But y'all need to overstand and understand.
and understand and know what you do always comes back to you, baby. It all It's the law of the universe. The universe works for those who are at its frequency. Do you not understand that? How many times do we have to say it? So stop with the spells. Stop with the lying. Stop with the trying to transmute or project your energy to someone else because you want to unload it. And just do the flipping work. And you too can be like us. Okay? Y'all have a beautiful day. I see the God within you. Because that same God resides within me. I wish that we all could see it. Namaste.